Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are gonna talk about the Westman Atelier powder. I finally, I'm getting the chance to film. I'm filming in daylight. Um, it's The sun is almost coming down. This is the only time I got to, to film. Um, today I got off early off of work because you know, your boy has a job, nine to five. I was gonna take a day off to film this, but I just forgot that YouTube doesn't pay me, at least not yet. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys do enjoy this video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share my video. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Um, also, if you guys want to follow me on any social media platform like TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, or Twitter, you guys can follow me at Daniels5. Okay, so let's jump into it. I've been using this powder already for about a week and a half now. And honestly, I really do enjoy it. I haven't compared it to other powders, but today I will be comparing it to two of my favorite um, powders, which is the Pat McGrath and then also the Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, used to be my favorite powder was the Pat McGrath, and now it's the Charlotte Tilbury. Well, it was the Charlotte Tilbury, and uh, this one, I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I'll let you guys know why. So first off, let's go ahead and jump into the packaging of Westman Atelier course beautiful packaging um, uh, let's go ahead and open her up um, all Westman Atelier uh, usually comes with a package with a pouch and ta -da, here is the powder this is how the compact looks very beautiful um, this this is like a soft gold it's also refillable packaging and now let's open up the compact okay let's open up the compact one thing about this i guess they made a groove on it to make it easier but it's still not easy to open up these packagings these compacts should i say Oh my God, I've been opening it up for, I've been using it for the past week and a half and today's the day that it's been the most complicated. It's not that complicated, I guess because I'm trying to film at the same time and show you guys so. But anyways, this is the powder here. Sorry, the lighting is very off so you can't see the color, but I got it in the shade Pink Bubble. I was kind of scared so this is okay this is you can get a better picture of it on this side here so this is the pink bubble and uh i you know I've, the reason why i got a pink bubble is because i have you know the charlotte tilbury in shade three i believe and the path mcgrath in the shade medium and i just wanted something different and i thought why not get the pink bubble um, a lot of people have been using the trend right now is using the the pink uh, powders, and I love I like the effects that it does, or well, at least what I've seen on you know social media. And honestly, this you can't really it gives a really soft um, look to the skin. You can't really tell the pinkness of it, and it doesn't give you a white cast or anything. Um, let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. And let me see, let me do a heavier swatch. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So this is supposed to have, it does have some mica, but very fine, probably one of the finest micas because I cannot tell any glitter when I put this powder on. Usually I can tell even with mica, but with this powder, um, it's very fine milled because I cannot tell it on my face, which I love because I hate having anything glittery on my face. And the texture of this powder, it doesn't feel um, powdery. It really does feel like a little creamy when you're rubbing it in between your fingers. Um, yeah, now let me go ahead and read the benefits that this powder gives. Uh, let me see if we have it here in the box. We don't. So let me go to the Sephora because when I bought it, they only had it on the westmanatelier.com. 
Um, and that's where I got it from. It took forever to get here. Uh, but now they're selling it at Sephora. Okay, so I have the Sephora app pulled up and I'm going to go ahead and read off some facts in regards to this powder. Uh, so I have the pink bubble. Um, what it is, it's a weightless, talc-free, clean setting powder packed with protective skin refining actives that provides an immediate diffused look and healthier looking skin over time. It has quinoa seed extract, minimizes the look of pores, retexturizes the look of skin, as vitamin C, so it neutralizes free radicals, visibly evens tone, and supports natural collagen. Also probiotic, enhanced skin's natural defense mechanism. Um, basically, this has a lot of claims. Apparently, you, you no longer need Botox or fillers or a facelift. This is all in this one little compact, which it should because this crap costs let me tell you how much this thing costs, how much it cost me. $75. And I got it from Westman Atelier, which that means they charged me shipping. So yeah, add it up. It was really expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, enough blabbing off. Let's go ahead and try this on my face. So basically what I'm gonna do so I can compare with you guys here um, this is going to be my first time comparing it to my other two favorite powders. Uh, so I'm going to apply uh, the Westman Atelier Pink Bubble to the right side of my face everywhere. And then I'm going to apply the Pat McGrath and the Charlotte Tilbury in certain areas of, of the left side of my face. And then we'll compare the finishes and whatnot and how it feels. And now while this... Um, powder does have a mirror it's very tiny and for my big ass face that is not enough so that's why I'm having this mirror here um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Wayne Goss uh, airbrush and yes is it worth it yes all 56 serves I can't remember how much I bought it for but yes it's worth it when he releases it run out I don't care if you guys don't have money for your rent get this brush I'm just kidding spend cautiously but anyways this brush is worth it especially for powder I'm gonna go ahead and use it I've been using this one with um, with the Westman Atelier for the past week and a half and I've been loving it so what we're gonna go ahead and do and give me a second I'm gonna go ahead and get myself closer to you guys so you guys can see a little bit better okay there y'all can see me better right okay so let's go where we always apply powder first. Oh, and before I apply the powder, um, let me tell you guys what I have on my face. I did use uh, the highlighter shade Nectar as a primer under my eyes and on the high points of my face. And I also use the Westman Atelier in the shade Biscuit for contouring. And I used the Westman Atelier um, baby cheeks in the shade Bichette and for concealer I'm using the Dior Backstage concealer so it's a very radiant concealer okay shut up Daniel let's go ahead and apply this powder god all right so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it first where we always normally apply powder which is under the eyes to prevent creasing so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to grab more than I usually uh, grab just so you guys can hopefully see the effect that it does on um, through the camera now this powder feels very weightless um, and what do I see I see a very soft gives a very soft focus to my under eyes can I tell the shade color no not at all um, it just gives me a very soft focus um, finish to my under eyes which I really like and you guys I'm so sorry for the lighting this is honestly probably one of the worst lighting situations you have the Sun coming in on this side and then but this is honestly the best the best area in my home where I can film so apologies all right guys so I had to move you guys to this side of my apartment because 
Um, on the other side, the lighting was just not cutting it at all. The sun was coming down and the lighting was just hitting me in all the wrong places. Let's jump right back into it. Okay, so you guys just saw me apply it under the eyes. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and use my other favorite powder, which is the Charlotte Tilbury under uh, my eye on my left side. Okay, so here I have the Charlotte Tilbury and this is in the shade two, medium. And the brush that I will be using is this NARS, um, I forget what the name of this brush is, um, but love this brush, it's, love the shape of it, love how fluffy it is, love how small it is as well, and it just feels very weightless on the hands. And actually, before I apply the powder, let me go ahead and swatch it on my fingers just to feel how it feels. Um, so this one, still feels like the feels very similar to the um west Atelier. this one just a little bit more powdery powdery the other one is more just has a more of a creamy feel creamy finish but let's go ahead and apply it under the eyes Okay, so what difference do I see? Hmm. Well, well. <laughs> oh my gosh, you really can see. Oh, the, okay. I don't know if you guys can tell, but wow. I haven't compared it to the Charlotte Tilbury, but honestly, the Charlotte Tilbury is doing it for me right now. That is insane, guys. So the Charlotte Tilbury really makes my under eye look really smooth. As to the Westman Atelier. Guys, this is making me want to get my money back from Westman Atelier, yeah. The Charlotte Tilbury really smoothed the shit out of my freaking under eye. And this one, now I'm feeling like it enhanced the texture of my under eyes let me let me go on this side maybe it's the lighting i don't know i don't know uh the charlotte tilbury right now it's doing it for me for sure let me go ahead and apply um some more of the pink bubble under the right eye i'm i really want to love this powder as you guys can tell let's see Mm -mm. And you know what's crazy that I know for a fact the brush that I'm using, it's not better than the airbrush from Wayne Goss. So the fact that this is still giving me a better finish than the Westman Atelier is kind of blowing my mind right now. Um, let me try some more. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Um, I might as well just end this video right here. The Charlotte Tilbury is giving me a better finish. Damn it. I really wanted to like it. Maybe if I get the creme one, I'm going to see if I can get the creme one. Okay. Anyways, let's move on to the next powder. Let's go ahead and apply the Westman Atelier on my forehead on my right side. I mean, what I do notice is that the Westman Atelier is very lightweight. I can't, I can be putting a lot of product and it just doesn't feel like I'm putting anything on. Now on this side of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pat McGrath my beloved Pat McGrath. And if the mirror on the Westman Atelier was a joke, the one on the Pat McGrath is just, I mean, it's pure comedy. Anyways, okay. And what I will be using um, on the other side of my forehead will be this 
Smashbox brush. It's the angled brush. It's pretty fluffy, so it's good for powder. Um, let's go ahead and try it. And I did drop my Pat McGrath and it broke, but I was able to save it. So let's go ahead and try this on the left side of my forehead. Hmm. Okay, let's see which one I like better. I don't know why am I, I'm starting to feel like I'm loving the Pat McGrath better as well. I'm hating this because yeah, I'm not gonna keep this powder if I don't know. It's way too expensive to keep. Yeah, no, I definitely, I think I'm gonna return it. Ugh, I really love Westman Atelier. I love a lot of their product, but this is when it's not cutting it and it's the pricing. I, I, yeah, no, I need my money back. I'll probably get their um, Peau de Peche um, uh, highlighter. I've been wanting to get that, so I'll probably just get my money back and get that product and then yeah anyways all right so actually um i also have the costas um cloud sit powder in comfy i'm gonna go ahead and compare it to the westman atelier and what i'm gonna where i'm gonna compare it is on the side of my face and let's start and let's start with the westman atelier on this side of my face so again, I'm grabbing a decent amount, as you guys can see. Okay, and to apply the cloud set on the left side of my face, I will be using this NARS, this other NARS uh, brush, which is the total opposite of the first one that I use. This one's more chubbier and the, this is more fluffier. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and use it. And now with the cloud set, let me see. Sometimes you need to like hit the hard pens. So let's see. Let me just. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab. Um, Ooh, this one is definitely powdery as well and guys I usually don't use this much powder but you know just for you guys so you guys can hopefully see it through the camera um, that's why I'm using I'm going heavier I don't know guys I'm you know the cloud set and the Pat McGrath and the Charlotte Tilbury are definitely giving me way better finishes than the Westman Atelier. Maybe I was wrong with the shade color and getting the pink bubble. Um, maybe because of the shade, it's just not giving me what these guys right here. You know, this is, you know, closer to my skin tone. And maybe that's why I'm getting a more diffuse you know silkier finish but so far out of all four of these powders out of all of these the pink bubble is just not cutting it for me you know what let's just rate the powders right now so number one ding 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 is a charlotte tilbury airbrush and number two is the pat mcgrath Number three is the cloud set. And number four, yeah, the Westman Atelier, the most expensive out of all of them. Yeah. Guys, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just the, maybe it's just the shade. I'm going to try to get the creme and see if that one uh, gives me a better finish. All right, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I know it was very messy again. I'm a new youtuber I know it was all over the place with the lighting and everything But um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these powders Let me know if you guys have tried the pink bubble if you guys are, you know Medium skin tone like me and how you guys like the powder if you guys have the Pat McGrath or the Cloud set 
which one do you guys think it's better? Do you guys have the shade creme? I want to just get more info because I really did want to love this powder, but for some reason this is is falling very flat. And I was liking it, but I hadn't compared it to the powders. So you, this is an honest reaction here that you guys are getting. But with that being said, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna return the, the Westman Atelier uh, powder, try to get it for a creme and then go from there. Um, but I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, if you guys have any tips, if you guys have any questions for me um, in regards to this video, if you guys like, um, comment down below. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like button, share this video, um, subscribe to my channel. You guys can also follow me on all social media, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, under the name of Daniels5. And yeah, um, that was kind of a fail. Disappointed. All right. Anyways, I'm done with you guys. Bye.